Me and my friend Matt Davis started Dice Magazine 10 years ago. The typical biker guy when we started the magazine was black leather jacket, jeans, boots, Harley. It was that whole image that went with the motorcycle lifestyle. So when we started it, we wanted it to be like no rules, listen to whatever music you like, wear whatever clothes you like, and as long as you have a motorcycle and you're having fun with your friends, that was it really. From issue five, we decided to let a different artist design the cover. As long as it's motorcycle related, they can do whatever they want. And we're always trying to think of something different, like we did the stencil issue, we did the colour and cover with the free crayons, the 3D issue with the glasses. It's always trying to be like fun and light-hearted. With the magazine, it's not like set in an era and it's not telling people what to do, it's just everything that's good in life. If you like it, do it, you know? We decided at the beginning of the year that Matt was going to go to Europe with the Dice van. We were going to load the van, put his bike in it and all the stuff, and then he was going to do all the shows in Europe. Every time I check Instagram, all he's doing is at the pub, he's riding his bike. I'm here, I've got to get the mag together, I'm doing all the deliveries. I'm, di I'm stressed out. Okay, let's go to lunch. That's lunch. Trico is a store that is three brands together, which is our friend Reno from The Great Frog, jewellery company from London, uh, Dixie Denim, which is our friend John Tubbs, and Dice Magazine. The DICE headquarters is at the back of Trico and uh, we have our office and we do the magazine out of there. When we do an article in the magazine, it's so boring when you read it and it's like, oh well I found the tyre at a swap meet and then my friend gave me the gas tank. It's like every time it's the same. So that's why if I write the article, that goes straight in the trash and I want to write about the difference between Breakdance the movie and the second part, which was Electric Boogaloo, of course. I have a 1957 Harley Pan head. I would say it's an early 60s San Francisco style chopper and it's great for about 100 miles and then after that you want to kill yourself because it's a little bit uncomfortable but it looks great it does look good but for me it doesn't matter how many miles you ride and it doesn't matter if you've built the bike yourself or if you pay to have it built as long as you're having fun and you don't take yourself too seriously and that's all good the Black Tibetans is a project that I started two years ago and it's a rock and roll band. Can't find the bass player. Classic. <laughs> Me on guitar and vocals. And then Tamara, who also loves motorcycles, she plays bass. And then Drum Wolf is on the, the drums. I've never heard him speak. I've known him for three years. Live to ride, ride to Starbucks. Oh, we don't even do that anymore because Starbucks sucks. Since we have the office in the back of the store, by about midday, people come, they're hanging out, they're drinking coffee. I'm in the back working, and I'm the laziest guy in the world. So any excuse to, go, to like, not work, I'm not working. It's that fucking gas that fucked it up. Don't answer it. I won't answer it, because I don't work I here. I don't work here, so I won't answer it. Yeah, I work here, I don't answer it. Well, Wait, let me just turn it off. Why don't you answer? I don't like talking to people. Yeah, but you work here. I don't like them. Who is it? I, mean, I don't like it. Just answer it and say how good. Try it. End. Answer it. End. Don't you. I'm not answering. I wonder that. what. I don't like talking to people. It's a good business people. you got going. Yeah, well, make a call back. Imogen gets here at 12 o'clock. Always late. Always late. <laughs> I've seen guys walk into Trico and they take one look at Imogen and they're here for 45 minutes buying stuff they don't even want. These eye rings we've been making since the 80s and they're made from real prosthetic eyes. They buy them actually from the hospital and they come in a full disc, full circle, and they grind them down and set them in the rings. But each one's um, painted with a single hairbrush so you can actually see the veins and stuff in there. You want skulls? This is the classic one. That's a small size as well. Do you want a bigger one for a guy? This is the new issue of the bag. 
and basically obviously the magazine's about motorcycles from around the world and that means we have to fill the magazine every two months with motorcycles we're going to go to power plant choppers which is in hollywood and it's my friend yaniv this is perfect like that's perfect like shit's happening you know what i mean how's your store going yeah it's going great it's, how many uh, partners you got in that uh there's is that trico three people or? yeah three it's dice dixie and then the great frog and the great frog is the jewelry yeah it's all right man at this newsstand here, when it was open, you guys were there. That's the shittiest newsstand ever. I know. And they carry dice. That's what closed them down in the end. Probably us. With the style of motorcycles that we cover in the magazine, it's quite it's quite varied too. I mean, it's they're usually vintage motorcycles, you know, and they're always modified. So it could be like a cafe racer or a bobber or a chopper or whatever you want to call it, a modified motorcycle, basically. This is a first, actually having a bike clean for a dice article. It looks great. Um, yeah, let's bring it over here. Genius at work. Give a ride, ride to Instagram. Okay, we're done. See you later. She works here once a week. That's Rosie. I picked up some beers and some ice, and that was as far as my part in this went. But the beer and the ice was the most important thing about this party, so I feel like I did my duty pretty well. Let me style you. You get all the chicks that style you. Look at me. I am styled to fucking put jacket. That's your jacket. Yeah, exactly. So, number one rule get that jacket off. <laughs> Look at that one over there. This thing is sharp as the bees do, man. Yeah. But are there loads of girls a mix of us? It's great. I love seeing all the bikes and everyone feels definitely like a big family and everyone's a good time and helps each other out and that's what I like. I love that about this world. tell everyone to leave man. and my friend's like I'm on my way I'm bringing three 12 packs we're never gonna get rid of them he's bringing more beer people are never gonna leave I'm a Acer LA sculptor I'm just hanging out here at Trico tonight man representing my boys down at, at the uh, LA Industrial Arts Compound so I realize I haven't taken any pictures and I should really take some which one's yours? Uh, the one with the metal flake tank I think with everything, the band, the store, the magazine, we just like to keep it independent and small. Because if it does get any bigger, I'll just I'll pack it all in. I'll go and I'll open a little penguin sanctuary or something and not have any stress. And then Matt can deal with it. I've already had four phone calls today. Where's Matt? The more opportunity I get to ride, the better fucking life is. It really is good because it's that one thing that ties everybody together. It doesn't matter where you're from, how much money you make, what religion you are, what kind of politics you believe in. It's the motorcycle that just everybody gets together and it's that one thing. It's perfect.